What's going on guys? Today on the channel we're going to be talking real quickly about watchOS 10.3. So this update only came in at about 200 something megabytes on my Apple Watch Series 6. There's a few new features here, uh, kind of some carryovers from iOS 17.3. Be sure to check out that video on the channel. But there are a couple of watch face changes here. So first things first, there is a new Unity Bloom watch face. So we can go ahead and check that out real quick. So you can go into the Unity section here and then you can scroll down. You can see there is the Unity Bloom. So there's a few different kind of complications and styles that you can do here, different colors. But this matches the uh, lock screens on iOS 17.3. So if you want to match those, you can. Uh, this is, of course, in honor of Black History Month in February. So you now have the ability to match your watch face with your phone. And they have different animations and things like that every time you look at it. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Also, another uh, change to a watch face here has to do with the Snoopy watch face. So I've been told that they've added a whole lot of new kind of Snoopy scenes uh, for this time around. So there are some fun changes in there as well. Next thing here has to do with the swiping here. We all know that swiping through your watch faces like this is how we've been doing it for literally ever. But Apple in a couple updates ago actually disabled that. You had to go into settings and you had to uh, reselect it basically uh, in order to be able to do that. Well now, Apple has chosen to turn that feature on by default. So the ability to swipe through your watch faces is now on by default instead of turning it off and you having to go back in there yourself. So Apple definitely listened and they enabled that feature. Now there's a couple other things here that were introduced in 17.3 that just carry over here to the watch. The first thing has to do with working out. So if you have the uh, AirPods and you have the Siri announcement feature on where she basically uh, kind of tells you what your notifications are and different things that are happening, there's now uh, the ability for her to ask if you would like to finish a workout. So if you're getting close to ending a workout on your watch or your phone and you have AirPods in, it will ask you, do you want this workout to end? And then you can either say yes or no, and then the workout will end. So that's pretty cool. Also with Apple Music, you now finally have the ability to have a collaborative playlist. So you can create a collaborative playlist on your iPhone and you can share it with those who you want to collaborate with. And you can now, of course, see that on your Apple Watch as well. And then there's, of course, some bug fixes and things like that that Apple always fixes. Uh, you can go on to Apple's uh, website and go to the security page. You can scroll down here to watchOS 10.3, and this is where you can see all of the different things that they fixed. So that is always helpful. But anyways, guys, that's literally it here for watchOS 10.3. Not a ton of new things here, but there are a couple of new noteworthy features. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you in this video today. Thank you for watching the channel as always, and I'll catch you all in the next video.